Right, so. I suck air out. Hold my finger over there. Yeah, we got a leak in there somewhere. I thought it was in there, but it looks like it's here. Okay, crush that one, I'm gonna suck air in first, crush that one, right, so this valve is okay, just demonstrate that again, squeeze that shut, And that forced itself off there so it's not it's not there squeeze that one shut yeah and we got a leak Can we get this apart? All right, we've got screws underneath. Hmm. They've either been over tightened or somebody's taken them off and not taken care to align them up again properly. I don't think we're supposed to be taking this apart. Well, that's two LEDs. There we go. Just push the switch in. Right. Okay. That's our two LEDs that flash backwards and forwards. Oh, there's even a little bit of water damage in there. Oh, and that one looks like it was crushed. Um, you get the light on it. That one looks like it was crushed. Flattened. I don't expect that was helping anything. It looks like I squeeze these in. I should be able to remove the top section. because all these other tubes are preventing it lifting up. What have we got? I've got that one. And that one. Gosh, this is going to be awkward. A double-sided tape over it. Holding it all in place. It's 
So what's the one that's causing the trouble? That one. There. Hmm. Gosh, lots of these are just... It's all very tight in there. I'll stop filming for a while because this is going to take too long. And we'll come back in a minute. Right, we're searching for leaks now. Because I can access the tubes, even though I can't get the top off clearly. And I can squeeze them to seal them. So if I suck the air out, squeeze that one shut. So we've got a good seal there. If I come to here, squeeze it shut. And we've got a good seal there. If I come down to Oh, that one just there. Yeah. That's working well. So that's just where it goes into the fuel cell. So if I go on that one, that's where it comes out of the fuel cell. There's our problem again. Am I doing that in the right place? Yeah, that's on the way out of the fuel cell. So it's one of the joins going onto the fuel cell, which is annoying because that's going to be awkward to get to. And we don't know which one it is. Oh, is that going to come out at an angle and we can... Can we do that? Oh. Right. So... You can see a bit clearer now. Uh, in too close, you can't see what I'm doing. So doing the same thing, squeezing in and out. So suck air into the syringe. Squeeze just there. We got a good seal. It goes through the fuel cell out here, squeeze just here, and it's escaping. What we don't know is whether it's that one or that one that's leaking. So I'm going to do the same as before, just chop a little bit off. I do have some more neoprene tubing somewhere, so we could replace it all if necessary. Is that you know there's absolutely no reason for me to be lucky and get it right the first time. Yeah, that didn't do it. It's got to be that one, and that one's very short.
No. Oh, no. Oh, of course. <sighs> Fuel cell also. Sends gas up here. So we need to shut this one down. Uh, how can we do that? I'll get a clamp. Yes, yeah, so we can suck air in there. So it must be coming. Up this one. I think that worked. Just need more hands. No, it's still leaked out. Well, I put it back together. It seems to be bubbling okay, but we don't seem to be creating any more pressure. I remade every single joint or connection on the tubing, cut the old ends off. So we had a fresh connection, but it's not making any difference at all. I am at a loss. There did seem to be a leak in there somewhere, but I can't trace it. So thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, leave us a comment so I know I'm doing and somewhere up here there'll be some links to related playlists, thanks again.